right, hello everybody. Peter Draws here, hot dog chef extraordinaire. Hope you're all doing well today. Let's hop right into it. We're gonna learn today how to make the famed and delicious fried cheese sandwich. An American classic, probably also enjoyed across the rest of the world. But first of all, I just wanna say let's keep it simple. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, unless you're really bored late at night. I like doing really simple recipes because they're approachable and easy and you don't need a lot of ingredients. For this, you're gonna need these things. The bread, because it's a sandwich. The mayonnaise, the butter, and the cheese. We're gonna go with some medium cheddar because I'm not too hardcore with how sharp my cheddar is. You're gonna wanna turn this up to, to medium, lowish, highish, right around here somewhere. We got some bread. Then you're going to want to take a little piece of your butter here and put that in the pan. Take mayonnaise and put it on the bread, like so. Spread it around. Nice and even. We're not really watching our waistlines, we're watching our taste buds. Believe it or not, this mayonnaise is gonna go on the outside of the sandwich. The fried cheese sandwich is different from other sandwiches in that the condiments go on the outside. Now you know. All right, so then you take two pieces of the mayonnaise bread, there's the mayonnaise sides, side, and you take some slices of cheese, and you put the cheese on the inside without mayonnaise, and then you put the other mayonnaise side on the outside there, so you have two mayonnaise sides on the outside. Wonderful. Then you pop that sucker in the pan. And it starts to fry. Oh, that's real good. It's good to have a spatula. You don't want to have it too hot, otherwise the outside of the sandwich will get all cooked and grizzly before the inside of the sandwich. You might have heard of my patented technique, press up and press down. One thing you can do is an advanced method of that. We apply a bit of butter to this kitchen utensil, called an iron. You press down, press up, press down, press up, press down on me, press up. You don't want to leave it on there too long because the sheer, the sheer weight of this utensil will uh, we'll crush the juices out of there. That's coming along real good. Don't be afraid to re-butter. Don't be afraid to turn this up too. The key to successful cooking and delicious cooking is a total lack of fear in all regards. All right, let's try giving this a little flip. All right, that's, get, that's getting there, that's getting there. All right, while that's cooking, I wanna show you another expert move you can try if you have the right equipment. And that is our little friend, the Little Mac. Check this little guy out. I think he'll do just fine. All right, so we got the Little Mac going here. I bought this at a at Goodwill for two ninety nine. I'm not really sure how to tell what's going on with him, but he's making a very satisfying noise. Let's flip the, let's flip this guy. Oh oh, a warm golden brown perfection. Press down, press up. We're learning how to do that real good now. Press down, press up. Just give it a couple more minutes. One 
two more, between one and 400 seconds more on there. Oh, I have plates now, by the way. Got some new plates. Put these puppies on. That's how you know it's that's how you know it's done. I was trying to go for a flip, but it was too done. I'm gonna check on this little guy. There's no butter in that one. Mmm. Oh, she's toasty. But doesn't that look good? Too hot to eat at the second, this second. But you know what you need with a good. <clears throat> you know! You know what you need. Some people would say tomato soup goes good with fried cheese sandwiches. And I want to argue you can eat a tomato soup with a fried cheese sandwich if you really want to. But for me personally, more of a milk guy myself. And not the chocolate milk either. Go with the real thing. Oh, that's coming along. That's really that's really happening in there. And then you gotta flip, flip it, so it cooks evenly. Oh, if that's not perfectly grilled sandy, I don't know what it is. I don't really know how to get it. Oh, this little thing comes out. Look at that. Okay. Okay, maybe I should have buttered it. Okay. Okay. Smells like fish for some reason. Still got one good sandwich out of this. You eat, you eat your good sandwich. Mm. That's just pretty much just butter and cheese, really. No way around that. You ever try swallowing part of a mozzarella stick and part of the mozzarella stick stays up here in your mouth and the rest of the mozzarella stick goes down to your belly and the string of, of cheese is fighting up and down your throat? That's a scary life-affirming moment. I'm definitely getting worse at these. I gotta cook something easier.